Michael Lombardi, God love him. Friend of the cone phone, cone zone. He doesn't know it, but he's a friend of my dad. He knows that. Used to be an Oakland guy, Piedmont guy. Anyway, he says Justin Fields will not be the pick at three. It's not going to happen. He's been adamant for about a month. He said, this is his information. Kyle Shanahan wants Mac Jones. Scouting department wants Trey Lance, and they're trying to keep Kyle Shanahan open-minded to Lance. He says Justin Fields is not going to happen. I tend to believe him for a few reasons. One, I kind of put Michael Lombardi in like the made man category of sports journalists. Guys who have reached the pinnacle of where they're going to go in this industry. He's pretty much there. Adam Schefter's there. Matt Mayoko's there. Peter King is there. These aren't like necessarily people on the come up, people who need that one scoop to get a, to make a name for themselves. These are people who've made it. They're made men, and all they can really do right now is hurt their reputation. There's no percentage in it for them to go out on a limb on something they don't have information on, take a guess, be wrong. It only hurts their brand. So it just makes me smile that Mike Lombardi is so adamant. It's like, go for it, Michael. Because if you're wrong, everyone's going to remember it, and this is really going to hurt your career. So he knows that. And the fact that he's doing it anyway makes me feel like he has good information. He even says it like, I have sources you don't. I Put your sources up against mine. Good for you, Michael. I love it. I love the way you're saying it with your chest. Good for you. So I believe him. I think it, there's no coincidence. Michael Lombardi's saying he has information. Mayoko, uh, Schefter, Peter King, Chris Sims, Dan Orlovsky aren't saying they have information, but they're saying the same thing that Mike Lombardi's saying. So I believe some of these, some or most of these guys are hearing something. And if that's what they're hearing, then I believe him. Now, the thing about Justin Fields not being the pick at three, I think is funny. <clears throat> Does that mean he's going to be the pick at two for the Jets? Think about that. Could be. To me, I, I, I feel like what the, the Niners have two things that's going on here. Their plan A, Mission Impossible, is to get the Jets to mess up. Get the Jets to blink. Everyone thinks the Jets are going to take Zach Wilson. I think the Niners would like Zach Wilson. So get the Jets to take anyone other than Mac Wilson. Uh, Zach Wilson. Take Mac Jones. Take Justin Fields. Take Trey Lance. If the Niners can get the Jets to do that, they have succeeded in Mission Impossible. Uh, other than that, it sounds like what everyone is saying that Kyle really likes Mac Jones, and that's going to be plan B. We'll talk about that in a minute. I believe this thing about Justin Fields. I don't know what it is about Justin Fields that turns off Kyle Shanahan, but I think what he's going to say if he doesn't take Fields is, I liked all these guys. Love Justin Fields. Nothing against Justin Fields. He's a great quarterback. I love them all. I just like Mac Jones the most. That's what they're going to say. But you heard what Chris Sims said about Justin Fields. Chris Sims trashed him. Gave him a scathing review, said he's going to be, probably be a bust, rank him below Kellen Mond. Uh, Chris Sims and Kyle Shanahan have tattoos of each other's initials on their bodies. You really think they have that difference of a, that kind of a difference of an opinion on one quarterback? I don't. I don't. But we'll see. It'll be very interesting. I believe Michael Lombardi when he says Lombard, uh, Fields won't be the pick at two. Could be the, at three. He could be the pick at two, but he won't be the pick at three for the 49ers. I believe him on that.